Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to treat the radial head. First, we're going to using muscle energy as a direct technique. So, this patient has an anterior radial head, and we can use um, our SAP mnemonic to figure out whether the arm likes to pronate um, or supinate. And using the SAP mnemonic, if she has an anterior radial head, that, that that's going to be associated with easier preferred supination. So because muscle energy is a direct technique, we're going to be taking things into the barrier. So I have my thumb and my finger grasping the anterior and posterior aspects of the radial head, and then I'm holding my patient's hand as if I was going to shake her hand. I'm going to induce a posterior um, force into that radial head while I'm taking her hand into her pronation barrier. When I hit that barrier, I'm then going to instruct my patient to supinate against my hand while I'm adding that posterior force. I'm going to hold that for three to five seconds, and then I'm going to instruct my patient to relax. I'm going to wait for the tissues to relax, and then I'm going to take her further into her pronation barrier while adding, still adding that posterior pressure on the radial head. And then I'm going to repeat and have my patient supinate. I will hold for three to five seconds, have my patient relax, wait for the tissues to relax, and re-engage the barrier, and I'll have her um, supinate against me one more time. And then I will have her relax, and I will take her further into that new barrier. And then I will turn my patient to neutral, and I will reassess motion both at the radial head and using a long lever to assess supination and pronation. Is that good?